my fucking god, time for a new video. Guys, we're going to do a movie review today because, well, I haven't shared a movie with you guys in a while. And the movie that I've recently seen, well, actually, I've seen this movie quite a number of times now. It's just that every single time I see this movie, I like it more and more. The movie is called Legion. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys have heard this movie or seen the movie. Of course, the movie got shitty reviews because that's what fucking asshole critics do. They always rate horror movies, movies about good and evil, badly. But then they rate movies like fucking retarded ass movies like that Justin Bieber movie or, you know, just fucked up shit with like 10 out of 10 ratings. But of course, they rated this movie about fucking shit up, about... You know, like three stars. Anyways, any famous at oh yes, and I don't have a case with me or anything. Reason being is because I, I watch this movie on Netflix a lot. So yeah, anyways, any famous actors in the movie? Yes, there is one. Dennis uh, Quaid. <laughs> he was actually in quite a few movies. He was in the movie Frequency, which is actually a pretty cool movie. And he was also in other movies that I cannot think of the name. So, he's a famous actor though, goddammit. Any other famous actors? Mm, nope, not really. And the funny thing is Dennis Quaid in the movie was actually not a main character in the movie. He was actually somewhat kind of like a sub-character. But then again, you know, the movie was still pretty good. Uh, the movie is an hour and 40 minutes long, but it goes by really, really fast. Trust me. The movie literally opens up with fucking shit up and ends with fucking shit up. So therefore, it's an awesome movie. Uh, it's rated R. If it wasn't rated R, then you wouldn't see heads being blown off and other good shit. So therefore, this movie has to be rated R. Alright, so what is this movie about? It's pretty much about, well in simplest terms, it's about good versus good. Because there are really no demons in this movie. It's pretty much God declaring war on uh, the human race. That might sound kind of fucked up, but that's pretty much what it's about. Anyways, uh, Michael, the archangel, he comes down to take human form and he has to protect a baby. And if this baby dies, then all the humans die. And then a whole bunch of people get infected by angels that pretty much tries to kill the baby and Michael. And Michael is pretty much the only angel that defied the orders to kill the human race. So it's pretty much a non-stop blood action type movie. I mean, the, one, the first time I saw this movie in the theaters, I said holy ball shit. Because the movie opens up into gunfire and it pretty much ends into gunfire. It's not like one of those movies that have a 20 minute into the movie storyline. This movie begins with people getting blown up, and it ends with people getting blown up. So therefore, it is fucking awesome. All right, so what do I rate this movie? I rate this movie beyond a 10 out of 10 stars. And you know, some of you guys may dislike this movie, some of you guys may hate it. It's really your personal preference. And to be honest, that's really what a critic is. I mean, a critic supposedly gets a little sheet on how to rate a movie. That's really bullshit. If he really dislikes a movie, he's going to give it bad reviews. And for whatever reason, they give horror movies bad reviews. I don't know why, but they just do. But anyways, guys, leave some nasty, dirty little comments if you've seen this movie, heard this movie, or am going to see this movie. Otherwise, I will see you happy motherfuckers in a few days. Stay awesome and sexy, and bye!